my coffee. No. Guys, I'm wearing a vest. Can we just take a second? Ah! Happy Monday, guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm in the best mood ever today. Do you want to know why? Because it's family day, aka President's Day, aka I don't have to work. I got to sleep in till 10 o'clock, which happens very rarely. I, I don't remember the last time I got to sleep in, besides Thursday because I called sick to work, but before that, it was like a month ago. I edited and uploaded a video. I filmed another video. I went for a run outside because it was so nice out. Now it's about three. It's seven degrees outside. Oh, I'm in such a good mood. And we're about to head to the barn so I can ride Salem because today is his off day from lessons and I'm gonna go ride it and I'm so excited. Like, I haven't had a real ride on Salem in like, guys, how long? Well, considering I only rode him once since we moved to the new barn, twice. I'm so excited. This is like my first real ride in forever. I'm in a super great mood because I start my new job at the end of this week. If you guys didn't know, I got a job at the hospital finally. You guys have known how long I've been trying to get a job in the hospital for. I got a job on a hematology floor, which is so exciting because like I really want to work on a hematology floor because I just, I am very intrigued by cancer and bone marrow transplants. I'm specifically working on a BMT leukemia floor, which BMT stands for bone marrow transplant super excited i vlogged a bit earlier but i kind of looked like a potato so i was just like nah i got a new fitbit and i'm really digging it i'm just in a really good mood look how cute this water bottle is that my dad got me from california it's like cute and sparkly and mm, i think it's so cute um obviously i had a coffee earlier because that's the only thing that's open my car is an actual disaster i cleaned it out like three days ago and it's already dirty but yeah, it's super, super nice out. Also, the new barn is heated, so that makes riding a bit easier. But we're going to head to the barn right now and ride Mr. Salem. And I am so excited. I haven't been out to see him like all week because I just finished midterms, which were a success, guys. I'm in such a good mood. Okay, I broke my first 90. I got a 92 on my biological and physiological aspects of aging midterm. I got an 83 on my child development midterm. I got 100% on my psychopathology paper. I suck at writing papers, which you guys probably know. Like, I suck at writing papers. And, um, this prof never gives out A's, and I got 100%. So, I rewarded myself and bought myself a new wallet. I'll show you guys after. But, yeah, I'm just in a really good mood. So, I have the week off from school. It's my spring break. So, we're going to be riding a lot. Well, not a lot, but my lease on Ollie officially doesn't start till March 1st either because I didn't want to be really short on money this month. Um, just with, like, moving him and stuff. So, I'm starting my lease officially on March 1st, which is why you probably won't see much of Ollie for the next, like, week or so. But yeah, okay, let's go to the barn. Also, I've been obsessed with the Fifty Shades Free soundtrack. That's all I listen to. Ask her. It's all I listen to. I love the movies. If you guys know I'm obsessed with Fifty Shades of Grey, like, Fifty Shades of Grey is on Netflix now. And I probably watched it, like, four times since it's come out. And I've also streamed Fifty Shades Darker about three times, so. And I've seen the movie new movie once, and then I watched it online once, so. I'm obsessed. I love them. They're so romantic. Okay guys, I'm at the barn right now. Well, I'm like pulling in. My anxiety's been really bad about the barn lately. I don't really know how to like talk about it, honestly. I don't even know where I'm supposed to park. Like, what is going on? And now, let's hope this goes well. I've been having really bad anxiety lately about the barn. Yeah. Because I just don't know anyone here. And like every barn I've been to, I've known someone. And here I don't, so it gives me anxiety. But we're gonna overcome it. We're gonna have a good ride. It's like a traveling tack. <laughs> There's so much stuff in here. I love it. Let's go find the pony. I have no idea where he is. Okay. It's a little chilly for a vest. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little chilly, but once we get into the barn, it'll be fine. Okay. Where is my pony? It's a Salem. It's a beep beep. It's a boop. It's a beep boop. Beep boop. It's a beep boop. Hello, beep boop. Hello? Hello? Hello, handsome boy! Oh, you've got some hay on you. Can we kiss? No? Okay. Oh, he's angry. Alright guys, I have attained the horse. <laughs> apparently the new halter I bought him already broke. So we have the fleece one back on. Yeah, apparently it already broke. I'm like, I'm so sorry, I buy cheap things. But like, if horse's halter's gonna break, I'm not gonna keep buying $30 halters. And I can just buy $10 ones. I think we're just gonna do some walking and some trotting a little bit, not too, too much. 
because he is in like pretty decent work. He's in lessons like five days a week, so. And yes, don't worry, he's been like cleared and everything to go back to full work. I know someone's gonna comment that. He's getting pretty chunky, he gets a lot of food. Um, Because I'm grouchy and I'm all ready for a workout. He's so grouchy today. He, I swear he's not unhappy. <laughs> lighting here is probably really bad I apologize but it's five o'clock and it's getting dark out but obviously you guys can tell I didn't really record any riding raws um we're still at a point where he just can't hold anything up um which makes for a bit of a good school wars because you know he just kind of plods around but I was talking about it with my coach and it's just really frustrating but in a way she's saying it's a good thing because we can we don't have to reverse any bad habits. Now we can just build him from the ground up again, I guess. Because he has zero muscle. So yeah, I didn't really take any riding rods. One, I just didn't really feel like comfortable in a new barn, like just setting up my camera. Um, I don't feel comfortable yet doing that. I was really anxious today. I don't really know why. There's just like a bunch of people at the barn. I didn't know and like, I was just really anxious. But yeah, he's getting there. Um, just really gonna be a long journey, you know, building up that muscle again. But his hips are finally covered, which is really good. I guess this is like more of an update than a barn vlog because you guys don't really see me ride, which I'm really, really sorry, but I figured you guys would still want to see this vlog anyways. But I was going to ride Ollie, but I'm not going to because I'm too lazy. I'm just going to go home. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's a little frustrating because, you know, there's just like not much left of him, if that makes sense. Oh, it's just really hard because I go on like and I was like now I know I haven't ridden in like two months because he just has nothing left and it's just really really stressful for me and I mean it for my coach I bet like there's just nothing that to work with right now and so right now all we can do is encourage him to be long and low and build up his neck again but it's just been um been a little difficult and it's really hard to see him like that because he was he's just such a talented horse and now he's kind of like gone to having like nothing I don't know I get really emotional about it it's just really really frustrating the fact that like he just has no muscle anymore and he's not like I don't know he doesn't have the muscle anymore so you know he doesn't care himself like a dressage horse anymore like it took me like almost 15 minutes to like get him somewhat in a low frame in the trot and like the canter she was like don't even bother cantering him like we're not even cantering him so that's an update on Salem, but he is getting better and that's all that matters. He's getting healthy and that's all that matters. I'm gonna go chow down on some Tex-Mex for dinner. That's the plan. Um, let me get, let me know if you guys want to see more barn vlogs of me when I just visit Salem because I don't really get to ride him that much. Let me know if you guys still want to see like vlog, barn vlogs of me when I go to the barn to visit him. Oh my god, this contour is so on fleek today. Yeah, anyways. 
So, because I know you guys love to see Salem in here updates. So, that was that. But he was a really good boy. He's really trying his hardest. It's just really hard when he has no muscle. Um, yeah, I'm going to go eat some Tex-Mex and uh, chill out. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in my next part vlog. <laughs>